Braxton, up and under! With the Being able to make difficult shots look easy, that's the sign of a great player. First of all, I'd like to congratulate uh, Derek and, and his squad. Uh, they came in and gave us everything we could handle. Um, talented team, well-coached team. And uh, you know when we got up big, they didn't, they didn't stop. They kept coming at us. I just looked at the box score for the first time, and I didn't realize that we only hit one three, and they hit 13. You know, I, I can't remember a game that, that I've been a part of as a coach where we only hit one three. Um, you know, and, and we were able to, to come out on top, and certainly the 13 threes that they hit, it was a big part of our scouting report. We wanted to take away the three-point shot, but looking at that, obviously we didn't do a great job in, in that area, but, um, you know, to, to be able to come in and out-rebound them and, you know, and get the stops that we needed to get and also make the shots and make the plays after they made the run is certainly a credit to these guys. And We got up big, they made a run. We had a little bit of a moment here. We were weak for a second came together. I said a thousand points, man. Congratulations. You know, first of all, I'd like to congratulate Isaiah, um, you know, on his thousand point, you know, to, to have three guys. Keith did it. You know, Jamal's done it, you know, and, and, and everybody has to overcome something, you know, to, to, to get to that point. You know, some adversity, you know, as a player, it could be, you know, an injury or a bad performance. But, you know, for what Isaiah has been through and, and some people know, you know, it's been well documented. Uh, some people don't know the whole story, but for him to be able to the stick to it I don't even think that's a word, but his ability to stay with it. And, and to score a thousand points at any level for anybody is an unbelievable accomplishment. But, but to be able to do it the way he did it, it's certainly something special. And to do it here in a playoff game at home is, is something I know I'll remember and I know he'll remember. But picture standpoint, what does a thousand points represent to you? I mean, it's, it's humbling. Just like Coach Krimskit said, uh, to score a thousand points on any level is it's, it's not easy, but it's it's – it's a, it's a great feeling. My, the teammates, they congratulate me. In the, uh, they knew it before the game, and in practice, I kept getting like, oh, big four, big four, because all I needed was four points. And I mean, it was just a great, it was a great experience. A lot of great performances. A lot, lot of great performances. Miles, the lift you gave us in the first yeah, half, man. Yeah, yeah. Miles was a kid that started the first half of the season for us. And he very easily, when we changed when we changed the lineup, he very easily could have come into the locker room. He could have pouted. He could have been a negative influence. He could have been a distraction. He chose the exact opposite. Not one time did I sense that he was pouting or bad body language or that he was, you know, an issue. And that, that kind of attitude, when you have a skill set that he does, when your opportunity comes, there's no guarantee that you're going to perform in that setting, but you have a better chance. Miles is a jokester, and uh, usually in the beginning of the games, he's usually joking around, but today he was focused, he was locked in, so uh, I kind of had a sense that he was going to bring something, you know, intensity to the game, and, you know, he just came in and just contributed in the way that he could. He rebounded, he hit some open shots, he was defending, and, you know, he definitely gave us a boost that we needed, and, you know, I'm just really proud of the way that he, you know, stepped up today. I mean, it's exciting, you know, we've been talking about this since the beginning of the season, um, you know, the first time since 1991, so you, you can't ask for anything better than that. But, you know, I know our guys will be ready, our coaching staff will be ready, and, you know, I just hope that we get the fan support for that game, and hopefully we can bring a championship to Loretta. Big time performance. I don't want to leave this locker room, because I told you, and some of you guys haven't heard this, I absolutely love coaching this team. When, when I made the decision to come here in 1996 to, to Coach McConnell and his staff, it was for this moment. You know, for this moment to, to have a, a championship game here in Loretto, Pennsylvania. So it's, it's taken a little bit longer than I'd hoped as, as a player and as a coach. But, you know, as, as we talked to the alums, we had a bunch of alums come back and they were in the locker room. And some of the guys that I played with, some of the guys that, you know, I had the opportunity to coach, some of the guys we sold a vision about, hey, come here and let's work towards a championship. And to be able to do it, uh, certainly, you know, a credit to the guys that came before and, and took a chance and took a risk on, on St. Francis and took a risk on the staff. And, and uh, you know, to do it here as, as an alum is certainly you know something that I know I'm speaking for Coach Taylor and Coach Shannon, two guys that played. You know, they're excited about the opportunity. But as we talked about, you know, all, all year, one and zero, we know, we've got to find a way to win the, win the first media and um, put ourselves in a position to you know, win the 50-50 battle and, and and play the way we played for for 30 some games.